The real ladder app contains unique crash detection system that is designed to protect motorcyclists while recording their routes. Now, powered by RealSafe, it includes a three-stage process that is there to determine whether that rider might require an ambulance. What we're mainly protecting against is those riders that do crash and are separated from their bikes and potentially knocked unconscious. So in, in most cases, satellite navigation will provide you an accuracy of a few metres. And if you're out in the country with no obstacles to signals, then you can quite easily get that down to uh, a metre accuracy, which is obviously important for an application like Real Rider. The really great news is that there are new satellites and new signals being added all the time. So in the years to come, sub-metre accuracy should be the norm. If we consider a typical crash in a rural area um, that doesn't involve any other vehicle, you're either going to have a high side, a low side, or you're going to get target fixation. So stage one is measuring the accelerometer to determine whether there's been an impact. Now if you fall off a bike at speed and you hit the ground, that's the accelerometer picking that up. It then waits 10 seconds and that's quite important because if you, if you are travelling quite fast and you fall off, that momentum's got to go somewhere. So stage two is measuring the accelerometer and GPS data um, over a set time period and against thresholds. Now effectively what we do is we remove gravity from the accelerometer, making it very sensitive, and we create like a G fence around the rider. If you're up and moving around after a crash, then the accelerometer will pick up that movement. If you are, it will just stand down. If you don't move at all, we know you're unconscious. So stage three is the final part of the process where RealSafe makes the phone vibrate, it generates a message on screen, and basically it's saying, look, you, as a rider, you've got two minutes to say that you're okay. And if failure to do that means it will send the medical information that's stored within the app, it will send the mobile number for the rider, and it will send your last known GPS location directly to the nearest ambulance service via the 999 emergency system. The one experience I had where it uh, activated was we was in a remote part of Scotland and misjudged a rut and the bike just came to a complete stop and we got thrown off of it. All of a sudden I just got this vibration in my pocket and I scrabble, scrabble, get it out and oh, crash detected, oh, you know, yes, I'm fine, press the button, cancel. Um, and so. The fact that it worked on, on, on like that, that's, it now shows us peace of mind and always ride with it in my pocket, yeah. When the alert is triggered by the app, um, that generates uh, an alert into the BT999 system. Our call handler will attempt to call that patient back in order to do a full triage. If they can't do that, then because of the enhanced um, location services and the data that comes with the real rider alert, we can map that into our system and automatically dispatch an ambulance. This is the first app in the UK to come through the BAT Core App Certification Scheme to route its activation through the 909 service. Uh, that scheme's final sign-off is through the 909 Liaison Committee um, and that's chaired by the DCMS. We need to have a very high confidence level in the number of false activations in order to obviously proceed with the trial and obviously at 0.01% there's not much lower that you can get so we're quite happy with that margin of error. So often the innovation is in the business and understanding how to apply the technology more than in the technology itself and actually that's where you know, applications like Real Rider are so exciting.